All right, there is new hope tonight for residents of an underserved Houston neighborhood in the shadow of the city's skyline, where Texas health officials say cases of childhood leukemia are nearly five times the state's average. As CBS's Janet Shamlin reports, the EPA chief is promising help. The anguish is deep for Latanya Payne, whose 13-year-old Corinthian died from leukemia in July. He just wanted to make sure that the doctors did everything they could to try to save his life. Till the very last breath, he fought, and he fought. Payne lives in Houston's Fifth Ward, a low-income, predominantly African-American community near downtown. The neighborhood is near a Union Pacific rail yard contaminated with the chemical creosote, a likely human carcinogen. There's no confirmed link yet, but you're convinced of it? Yes. I truly believe that the Union Pacific Railroad is responsible for Corinthians leukemia. Payne is among more than a thousand who have filed suits against the freight rail company for illnesses they say came from their properties and groundwater contaminated by creosote. Union Pacific has said the chemical has been contained underground. In response to Payne's suit, the company says it will review and respond accordingly. As we walk these streets, these abandoned houses, it was life in these houses. All the people are dead now. All of them died from cancer. Sandra Edwards says more than a dozen people have died of cancer on her street, including her dad. We've been fighting this three, four and five years, and nobody has came over, but everybody want to come and see what's going on, but nothing has been done. EPA Administrator Michael Regan is the latest, touring the Fifth Ward today. Is there anything concrete do you think you can offer them? We have a sense of urgency in cleaning up this mess. I don't believe that we have been aggressive enough in terms of state and federal reaction. The people who live near the site agree with that, including Latanya Payne, who hopes something will be gained from this meeting as her heart aches for what's lost. What has it been like living without him? Every day is hard, honestly. We are all struggling with having to live without him. The chemical hasn't been used for decades here, but the EPA says it's believed to have seeped into the soil, forming an underground plume, impacting as many as 100 neighborhood homes. Nora? Such an important story, Janet Shamlian. Thank you.